Hello Sagittarius, <clears throat> this is your reading for today, the 7th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. I'm getting that a lot of you guys feel um, there's something that you want to talk about with somebody that you feel very attached to, very eager to discuss something here, okay? Very eager to discuss something. Somebody that you have a lot of love for, I feel. Yeah. That you possibly want to, like, take a leap of faith with. Let's see what we've got. Yeah. Concerned about something. Um, having nightmares, even. Thinking about something, like, repeatedly. Having ruminating thoughts here, okay? Hmm. Over some conflict. Over an argument. Maybe, um this is with someone or it may be with several people maybe people in a family ganging up you know five of pentacles feeling very hurt around this a lot of conflict going on here that you are um thinking about it's constantly weighing on your mind and you want to resolve it i feel you really want to resolve something here okay and i feel like there's there's something that's kind of holding you back and this may be the other individual that's going through this, okay? And maybe you, you feel like a responsibility to this person or, you know, you feel like you're the reason why this, you know, they're, they're unhappy. Maybe you feel like you're the reason why this conflict, you know, has arisen, okay? And I feel like you guys kind of, you know, you want to be there for this person that wanted to flip out. You want to be there. For, you want to be there for this person. I feel um, the Ten of Wands is falling under the Nine of Swords. So somebody feels like you know they were carrying all the weight of of um, doing all the work, basically doing all the work. Um, but I get that you want to revisit something from the past. You want to make something right. Is what I'm getting here. There's something that you guys want to make right, and um, and I think you think about it a lot. I think that for a lot of you, you feel like the only way to make it right is to the only way to stop really thinking about this is to actually take some action on this. And I think you're right. OK, then we have the Ten of Swords here. OK, you, yeah, you feel like that's the only way you can end this conflict is to actually talk about whatever it is that you guys have gone through here and put it to bed. So both of you can move on from this, whether you guys reconcile or whether you just, you know, decide amicably to part ways, I feel. But there's something that you guys want to end. I have several cards that are, have jumped out here because right now, you know, the situation is very stuck very stuck and I feel like one of you or either both of you are beating yourselves up because you know there's something that did not succeed here in your mind okay something that did not succeed here you guys probably you know told each other that you would be there regardless um, through thick and thin and that's not what's happening now because um, something has ended due to conflict here something has ended due to several arguments okay and then we have the four of cups here um, you know, maybe you guys feel like you took this person's love for granted. Maybe you work too much here with this eight of pentacles. You know, you were so focused, focused on work or they were so focused on work because this energy can go vice versa that, you know, you didn't, you know, pay a lot of attention to what was going on in the connection, in the relationship. And one of you was left feeling, um, you know, neglected here. Okay. A lot of arguments, a lot of fighting, probably because there was not enough time being spent um, to, to really build on this relationship. Let's see what your outside influence is here. Four of Wands. Yeah, relationship stability. For some of you, this is a marriage. Um, and some of you walked away or the other person walked away from it. But I get that, you know, somebody here... Whether it's you or the other person, there's a certain standard that you guys have or they have um, in, in a connection, okay? And for some reason, that standard wasn't being met, okay? So somebody decided to step out, not necessarily with someone else, 
but they weren't getting what they felt like they needed from this or they deserved from this this relationship and so this person is standing their ground right now and um, is, is only going to accept someone in their life that they feel like is going to give them everything that they need and I think that's kind of pushing some buttons here whether it's with you or the other person whoever's feeling this okay let's see what the outcome is here the king of swords hmm. I think that somebody's been like they kind of you know, sitting there with blinders on, really not trying to pay attention to what was actually going on, not trying to see the truth, okay? Somebody was hiding their feelings, being very aloof, being very detached here. But I think now somebody is really, um, you know, they're, 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 taking, they're taking the blinders off, I feel. Somebody's taking the blinders off, um, Wanting to work with the other person. Wanting to reveal some things if some things were hidden. Wanting to say, hey, let's work this out. You know, it's not that I don't, um, that I'm taking you for granted. Maybe I did. Maybe I did before. But, you know, it's, I'm not trying to. I come off aloof because that's just the way I am. Because the King of Swords, really, um, they have feelings. They do, but you know, outer appearances, people probably feel like uh, they're very cold, but they actually do feel a lot. They just don't exhibit that. And people display you know, affection in different ways. So I don't know what you guys, your situation is, but I feel like this person has really deep feelings, whoever this is, okay? So we have Gemini energy here, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, um, Leo energies here. Cancer and Virgo, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card to close out your reading to see what message um, they have for you guys. Let's see. Somebody wants to talk about um, getting back together here for sure and trying to work on this relationship, rebuild this connection here. After it's been stuck and you guys probably haven't been speaking or you know, if there was communication, probably it was very limited. Let's see. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So if some of you guys, um, you know, you have been holding on to an ex-lover or ex-wife or ex-husband or whatever, um, if, and I'm not saying like sexually, but sometimes even when we disconnect, we don't really disconnect from, you know, past loved ones. We still have that bridge there, um, an open door. Um, but it's time to close that door, especially if this is a relationship, a connection that you want. You have to be all in and devote your energy is what I'm getting here, okay? So that's what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you soon.